OK, the integration of inverse trig functions can be kind of a tricky topic. So let's go through it carefully. Um, remember from a previous screencast that the derivative of the arc sine of x is this expression. The derivative of arc cosine is just the negative of that same expression. And the derivative of inverse tan is that expression right there. So if we just reverse it, then the antiderivative of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared is the arc sine of x. We don't worry about the negative, OK? We'll just make it negative. If it, you have a negative 1 here, we'll get a negative arc sine. So when we're doing antiderivatives, we don't mess with the arc cosine, OK? And the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx is arc tan of x. So that's pretty straightforward. Let's look at an example. Hopefully the first thing you notice is that this is close to the arc sine expression, except instead of a 1 minus x squared, we have a 4 minus x squared. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take out that 4, which is going to make it 1 minus x squared over 4. And then I can take the square root of 4 out, which becomes 2 and this becomes 1 minus x over 2 squared. OK, so we're getting closer. If we let u equal x over 2, then du is 1 half dx. So guess what? There's my 1 half dx right there. So all of that is du, and this becomes a square root of 1 minus u squared, which is what we want. So in terms of u, this is going to be the arc sine of u plus c, which ends up being the arc sine of x over 2 plus c. So we can generalize that process. If you have 1 over the square root of a constant squared minus x squared, that's going to be the arc sine of x over that constant. Okay. So if you had the integral of dx over the square root of 5 minus x squared, then that would be the arc sine of x over the square root of 5 plus c. So if you know that rule, then it's a pretty simple process. So let's make things a little more complicated. So now we have the integral of x plus 2 over the square root of 4 minus x squared dx. So let's split that up into two integrals, OK? 4 minus x squared, and then plus 2 over that. So I'm going to put the 2 out front. OK. So this, we can do a straight u du substitution, letting u equal 4 minus x squared. And this is going to fit our arc sine pattern. So here we go. For the first integral, u is going to equal 4 minus x squared, which means du is negative 2x dx. So I put a negative 2 inside and a negative 1 half outside. And I get negative 1 half, the integral of 1 over u to the 1 half du plus 2. And this fits our arc sine patterns. That's going to be the arc sine of x over the square root of 4 plus c. So let's finish this integral over here. u to the negative 1 half du plus this piece we've already done. And we get negative 1 half. I add 1 to negative 1 half, and I get positive 1 half. Dividing by 1 half is the same thing as multiplying by 2. And I'll put the plus c with that c over there. OK, so our final answer is going to be this negative 1 half and the 2 cancel, so I get negative square root of u, which remember is 4 minus x squared, plus 2 arc sine of x over 2 plus c. OK, on this one, we're going to use our arc tan. 
which says that the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared dx equals the arctan of x plus c. And we're going to complete the square in here, OK? So this is going to be the integral of dx. I'm going to put x squared minus 4x in its own parentheses, put a plus 5 out there. And I'm going to add a 4 to complete the square, take half of 4 and square it. And since I added 4 inside the parentheses, I need to subtract 4 outside the parentheses. So this becomes dx over x minus 2 squared plus 1, which is in this form right here, except instead of an x, I have an x minus 2. So we'll let u equal x minus 2. du is dx. And I can rewrite this as 1 over u squared plus 1 du, which is the arctan of u plus c. And rewriting that back in terms of x, that's the arc tan of x minus 2 plus c. So in general, if I have 1 over some number squared plus x squared, that's 1 over that constant, arc tan x over the constant plus c. So if we apply that rule to this little problem right here, a squared is 9. OK, so that's our denominator. So we fit it into this pattern, and I get 1 over 3 arctan x over 3 plus c. So you need to memorize that one right there. That'll help you out a lot.